Over time, as production falls off on a well, weight-operated valves that were sized for original production can become too large for the reduced production volumes. This can lead to oscillation of the trim and weighted lever arm. This oscillation can prematurely wear the shaft, seals, and trim components, as well as create inconsistent flow. In this video, I'm gonna highlight a new Kimray solution that helps producers address this issue by reducing valve flow volumes at a low cost without replacing the entire valve. It's called an orifice reducer assembly. Designed for two inch and three inch weight operated dump valves, the orifice reducer assembly effectively changes the high end CV by restricting the flow downstream of the trim. Here's how it works. As the liquid level rises in the vessel, the liquid head pressure increases, eventually lifting the seal up off the seat. As the seal is lifting further off the seat, the CV is increasing, allowing more flow. With the orifice reducer assembly installed, the orifice restriction only allows the CV to go up to a certain level, maxing out at 10.7 for the two inch valve or 11.0 for the three inch valve. Regardless of how much more open the valve gets, the flow stays the same, maxed out at that point. This can mean that the valve will stay open longer, leading to more consistent flow, fewer actuations, and reduced likelihood of oscillation. For many operators, the orifice reducer assembly also adds a much needed benefit regarding regulations on calculations for instantaneous flow rate for emissions and tank line sizing. Typically, having to calculate the peak instantaneous volume flash rate means using the 100% open CV value of the valve. With the orifice reducer assembly installed, the 100% CV value is drastically reduced, which yields a much smaller calculation. The orifice reducer assembly is made of corrosion-resistant Delrin material and comes as a full seat assembly that easily replaces the existing seat in your valve. This can be done by your team or the Kimray Field Services team as needed. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for replacing your current seat with the orifice reducer assembly. Set the valve body into a vise. You can remove the drip pot and weight for easier handling. Remove the bolts connecting the upper housing to the body. Pull off the entire upper housing assembly. If it's stuck, tap it with a mallet and pry it apart with a flathead screwdriver. Use the Kimray seat wrench to unscrew the removable seat. If the gasket or any part of the gasket remains stuck to the seat in the valve, remove it using a pick if needed, but being careful not to scratch the surface. Clean off the area where the gasket was with a degreasing solvent and wire brush if needed. Inspect for any corrosion or scratches that could allow a leak path. If pitting or scratches are significant, you might need a new valve body. Apply grease to the seat area of the new reduced orifice assembly where the gasket will sit. Attach the gasket and apply grease to it as well. Start threading the seat in by hand and tighten with the seat wrench. Be careful not to over tighten the seat as this can crack the Delrin seat or tear the gasket. Align the upper housing assembly so that the outlet to the drip pot is 90 degrees from the valve body inlet. Tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern to avoid any misalignment. Lastly, attach the weight and the drip pot. To learn more about symptoms of an oversized valve, watch this video. To order the orifice reducer assembly, call your local Kimray store or authorized distributor.